I have two perspectives on what the most underreported story is. One from my professional life, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is work on media policy issues. And in terms of the future of media and the impact of media and democracy, I think that one of the most underreported stories is that democratic element of the media. The fact that these debates about the future of our media and the future of media policy have real implications on people's lives. These are not just business decisions. These are not just um, big battles between companies. These are real issues that impact people on their daily lives. These are life and death issues. So I think that's a hugely underreported story. But I also feel like, um, in terms of the general media, I think just inequality is um, in incredibly underreported. And when it is reported, it's reported um, very narrowly and very skin deep. Um, you look at things like, all you get to see is some statistics or numbers, you don't really get to see the stories, and you never hear the voices of people for whom inequality is, is part of their daily life. And so what we need to do is not just report those stories, but also report them in a way that's meaningful and that gives people a real voice. And what do you see as the role of an everyday citizen to bring, aware to make, uh, bring awareness in this issue? Well, I think increasingly citizens have a uh, new ability in terms of how they consume media and also how they make media to um, bring light to these issues in new ways. Not only to tell their own stories, but to tell the stories of the neighbors, to tell the stories of their communities, and to tell it with um, a reality and genuineness that no sort of outside observer could ever get. So I think our responsibility as citizens and our opportunity as citizens is to become smarter media consumers, to increase our level of media literacy and digital literacy so that we are understanding some of these impacts um, of media and technology and really supporting the kind of media we need, but then also to be active media creators. That you, every time you post a link on Facebook, every time you use Twitter, you are creating media in some way, whether it's a you know, super small piece of media or whether it's a whole story or blog post or video. We need to be smart media creators and use the power of these tools to help um, tell the stories that aren't being reported.